Hey y'all, I am Ilu and welcome to the 5.2 content overview. I am simply going to talk about the cosmetics and the likes in this video. Starting off is Legend of the Foxes, Season 5's first smite adventure. This mode pits you against hordes of minions and bosses in a new anime inspired map. Well, what do you do? This adventure will have you defending a sacred fox from hordes of minions and bosses. If the fox dies, it's game over. The fox will move to different areas of the map as levels progress. As you kill enemies, you will gain gold, which you can spend at the item shop with shopkeeper Denton. Christina V, who voices Amaterasu, Discordia, and others, voices Senpai Daji, who guides you in the adventure. There will be 5 random bosses throughout this adventure and you can queue up with 2 other people. New Adventure New Bundle This bundle includes the exclusive Senpai Daji skin, the Senpai loading screen, Senpai avatar, Senpai music theme, and the Season 5 Gold Vault Key. Season 4 keys won't work with this vault. All this will be available for 900 gems for a limited time. As you play games based on difficulty, you will earn various amounts of points. If you own the adventure bundle, you will earn double the points. You can spend these points to unlock chests for Enigma items, fantasy points, and a chance at the new Kitsune Ratatosker skin, voiced by Teal Ballard. This Rata skin is the first of four versions of the Furball. You can roll Kage Ratatosker in patch 5.3 and Zenko Ratatosker in 5.4. Collecting all Ratatosker skins will reward you with the final fusion skin, which makes a total of four in patch 5.4. You mentioned a new gold vault. Season 5 introduces a new gold vault and new gold keys. The first two skins in the gold vault are Marvelous Made Amaterasu, which uses the new anime cell shading technology. And DJ Om Ganesh, who joins bass drop Giannis and DJ Suze on the dance floor. The skin includes a new special bass dropping emote that syncs with the other two skins if they're in the same match and using the emote. The Gold Fury Bundle is the final piece of the Ragnarok event. This bundle is the same price as the others and includes Oblivion Hound Cerberus, Oblivion Queen Discordia, the Cutesy Cerberus Avatar, a Skull Jump Stamp, and a Molten Key. Owning all three bundles will reward you with Ragnarok Hades, which comes with its own special emote and ultimate that lights up the skies similar to Demonic Pact Anubis. Naja is getting some much needed love with this old hockey concept and his playmaker skin. This is a chest exclusive skin which will be available in the winter athletics chest. My guess is that it will cost 400 gems per roll, don't quote me on that. The chest will also include the what the puck jump stamp and playmaker announcer pack which might be bundled with the skin. And finally, Hades receives an update to his mastery skins and the three-headed pup dons his gold, legendary, and diamond coats of paint for all you Severus mains out there. That's all of the content available in this patch, which will go live on February 13th on PC and February 20th on console. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. The links will be provided in the description. Have fun and goodbye.